What's up party people? I'm Savannah and I haven't made a video in a while, I know. I mean, I really haven't been busy, I've just been really lazy. So today, I have this pile of stuff right here and it's all my songs, poems, diary pages, all this stuff from sixth grade, which was, so this was about five years ago. I'm gonna, I haven't read through any of it since sixth grade. So I'm gonna read through some of my stuff. I'm really scared actually. So here we go. This one is a song, oh my gosh. This is a song I wrote actually in third grade for someone who was my best friend, but back then I just met him and I was like, oh my gosh, he's, he's so dreamy. Third grade, yeah. This is a song called In a Dream. It's me you're thinking about. It's you I'm thinking about. And we will get married someday. Have a dog and be rich. We will have a smart kid in a dream. <laughs> I have to read the second verse. We will have a flat screen TV. It's really all that we would need. It's all in a dream. It's all in a dream. All in a dream. This next one is a song that I wrote called Paranormal. And this was in sixth grade because you can see my handwriting in the marker that I wrote it with. I woke up in the middle of the night, saw a light. It was bright. All of a sudden, it was out of sight. I'm just stampling there, wishing it was a dream. I could swear I saw a ghost in my hallway. He came, I sound like some demented child. He came up and said hello, and I tried not to bellow. Asked my mom and dad, they said it's paranormal. Well, that didn't actually happen. I Honestly, I can't read this. Let's just skip it. Oh my gosh, this is a song that I wrote back in sixth grade. I first became obsessed with Lady Gaga, like completely obsessed, because she has a peace sign tattoo on her wrist, and she said it symbolizes world peace. So I wrote a song called World Peace, which was also the name of my band for like four months. We want you to try. Lots of people in this world cry. There are people on the streets that fight every day. You know that we all have a say. So we have to save the world from destruction, hate, Hatefulness save the world from even more sins. Maybe world peace and I spelled maybe m-a-b-i-e Oh, okay, so this is a song that I wrote. I was in like fourth grade I got in a fight with this one dude who I lived by. I don't remember He thought that he was all bad and everything so I wrote a song called you will never be me We were best friends, but then our friendship ends. You couldn't be me never in your life. You will never be me I will stay strong. You know I'm coming. I will beat you now don't know what this is but it was written in a permanent marker so that, that's great I probably wrote it on the wall too made my mom mad in sixth grade I wrote a story about a wolf called Felix it was just getting dark so Felix told his friends to go home before dark he heard a very strange noise but did Felix survive or did he join his father in death and then I wrote a song about school and I remember this song school days school days School, I'm bored, B-O-A-R-D. Oh, oh, I found the rest of the story. I called it the Dire Wolf. This was based off of a Webkin's stuffed animal. My sixth grade life. You guys are getting an insider on something that no one else knows. Oh my gosh, I wrote this song in seventh grade. My seventh grade life was literally me sitting in the room right over there on the computer, on the internet. Facebook was the shit. So I was always on Facebook. Then I wrote a song called Forgive and Forget. It says, you came in my life looking for an answer. I don't have, I don't have. Yeah. You can't just pretend that nothing ever happened because it did because it did. I have a bunch of like little notes. Josie's over there attempting to twerk. I can't, I don't, I can't read anymore. This was from sixth grade. I know that because there are Taki and Hot Cheeto stains all over. Okay, I found all these comics that I used to make. We called them karmics. Me and my friend Ricky, we we just spent all of like Latin class in middle school making these these comics. We made like a whole book. It's crazy. Wow. Um, Ricky, if you're watching this, rainbow. And then my swaggy Ed Hardy notebook that I thought was so cool when I was in sixth grade. Basically, my whole sixth grade life. I think that was supposed to be my teacher. Don't question it. And lastly, my sixth grade binder. This thing is f probably full of drawings and everyone used to like compliment my drawings. I'd be like, oh, I have friends. Like now I am your main bitch. Like, I kept drawing like all this stuff that I thought they would like. I drew um, Mr. Dude. I drew the Joker. 
Dr. Osimo, that was um, JD's stuffed animal. We used to make videos, Trevor and Osimo. Then more Mr. Dude. Don't know what that is, honestly. This says, who am I? You're a magic pony. Ever since a long time, I've been like a writer, so I would always write uh, stories and random stories in class in sixth grade. This was when I first got my dog. I was really excited about getting him. Paxson, P, playful. A, awesome. X, extreme. Excellent for E. N is new because we didn't even have him. That's how new he was. More Joker. Drew this a lot because I'm pretty sure it was the only thing I knew how to drew. 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 Because this was the only thing I knew how to draw. So that's basically all of my, not all of my sixth grade stuff, but a lot of my sixth grade stuff. You guys got an insider on the best years of my life. My memories, my childhood. I seemed like a depressed lonely child who only knew how to draw there I go again who only know know how to who only knowed how to draw one picture so thank you for watching bye